It's Let's Celebrate TV Basic Skills Day. We're learning how to make a bechamel sauce. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV Basic Skills Day. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, we're gonna to learn how to make a bechamel sauce. What is a bechamel sauce, you're asking? Bechamel is a white creamy sauce. It's probably the most familiar to you. This is one of the five mother sauces that every cook should know. Now we're gonna to get to learn these sauces over the few weeks, but basically there's the bechamel, which we're gonna to do tonight. Then there's the espagnole. That's a dark brown soft, it's rich. There's velouté, which is a light. It's usually made with chicken stock. Then there's tomato. It's not your average marinara sauce. And finally, there's a hollandaise, which is an egg-based. Now, all of these sauces are the bases for other sauces. They're grand on their own, but they can become a lot more things, hence mother sauces. So let's get started with this bechamel. I'm gonna turn my pan on low heat. I'm gonna start with two tablespoons of butter. We're gonna get this melting. To that, I'm gonna add in the same amount of all-purpose flours, two tablespoons. This is called a roux. We're gonna melt this and mix it together. You're getting an extra basic skill out of this. A roux is a base of a lot of sauces and a lot of these mother sauces. It's also a great way to thicken soups and stews. So we're just gonna melt this down and we want this to form a paste, just like it's doing now. Now we wanna let this cook for about two or three minutes. We don't want it to brown. We wanna keep this a light roux, but we wanna cook that raw flour taste out of it. So I'm gonna to switch to a whisk just to help this. Now you don't have to start constantly at this point, but don't walk away from it because it will turn dark brown like that. There we go, it's all ready. Now, to make this a sauce, I'm gonna add some milk. I have whole milk, eight ounces or 240 mils, while I whisk this, I'm going to whisk this while I pour it in. Just like that. Now some recipes, and in some restaurants, some big chefs will tell you, you must heat your milk first. I've never found that to be true. In fact, I find I get a smoother sauce when I don't heat the milk. I'm just gonna whisk this a little bit so it all combines. You may see little clumps of flour. Don't worry, they're breaking up. Now you wanna bring this up to a simmer. You can turn the heat up a little bit, but be careful. You don't want it to scorch the bottom. And we're just gonna stir this, not constantly, but every minute or so. We're gonna let this go and simmer for about five or six minutes. And what's gonna happen is it's going to thicken up. So you want to take it to your desired consistency. Now, what does that mean, desired consistency? You don't want this too, too thick. This is a sauce, not wallpaper paste. You want it to be velvety and creamy looking. Now, if you were making something like cream spinach or sausage gravy, you would let it go a little thicker. Alrighty, it's been about four minutes and this is done already. I'm gonna cut the heat. How can I tell it's done? When I drag my spoon through, you can see a trail and it just looks thicker and richer and it feels thicker on the spoon. You can see a nice ribbon like that. Now we need to season this. Normally you may think, why would I not season it at the beginning? In this case, it will take the seasoning now. I'm gonna start with a little salt and pepper, just a pinch. I'm using white pepper today, so it won't show too much in this sauce. And then traditionally, I'm gonna add some nutmeg. I'm using 
whole nutmeg today, you can see that, you can use the pre-ground. Again, a good pinch. Play with this. You may like more nutmeg, you may like less. You could leave it out altogether. This is looking beautiful. Now, what can this become? I said this is a mother sauce. You could use this just like this and it will be delicious. You can make it into a cream sauce so right before you serve it, like right now, I would add some heavy cream and whisk that in. It'll make it a little thinner but richer. You could make a Mornay sauce, which is by adding cheese. So that's that lovely thick sauce you pour over your nachos or you use for your mac and cheese. But now you know how to make a bechamel sauce. All right, as always, we will see you on Tuesdays for our regular episodes, Fridays for basic skills or cocktails, and every other Sunday for our live streams. All right, I'm gonna go put this with my dinner tonight, and while I do that, I want you to watch some of these episodes over here. So until next time, cheers.